Hi, I'm Heidi Avila at Hendrick Ranch, and this will be my sixth year using the Tower Garden, and I'm super excited. My kids love watching all the plants grow. We grow vegetables that end up fruiting, and so they get to watch that and even try some of them, which is really fun. And it creates a green space in my room, and it's really relaxing listening to the water drip. And they don't have to use dirt to plant plants, which is the best thing about Tower Gardens. So I just really encourage anybody who even thinks about planting plants to try a Tower Garden. All right. Hey, I'm Mrs. Tatum, and I teach fourth grade here at Hendrick Ranch Elementary. This is going to be my third year doing the Tower Garden. It has been an amazing experience. The children love learning about hydroponics, they love seeing what they planted grow. They love um, eating salads <laughs> from what they've grown. And um, I thank you so much for having this program for oh. them to be able to learn about something that is necessary for them. I'm Miss Wagner. This is my fourth grade class. Really awesome. Most all of them got to do the tower garden in third grade. So we're really anxious to get started here in fourth grade to do it again. I think we've had it at this school about five or six years, and it is, has been amazing. A lot of students have come up with comments like, oh, I didn't know that grew like that. I didn't know, uh, let's see, green beans grew on a vine. So, and some have said, we, we have our salad, we've made salads for the entire class out of it and some have said i don't like salad and then they eat it because they grew it right and then they're like oh, i love salad this is really good <laughs> so it's been educational it's been fun and we've gotten a little bit of healthier children out of it my name is Sally Kim. I teach third grade at Moreno Valley Unified School District. I teach at Towngate. And I've had the lovely opportunity to make use of a tower garden for about five years, minus the year of the pandemic where we weren't here. Every year that I've had a chance to use it, my kids have fallen in love with gardening. I would say about half of them have never grown something from a seed. So the whole process of being able to put a seed into this rock wool and then to watch it sprout into a seedling and to grow and to produce lettuce and spinach and Swiss chard, the kids have just been enthralled with it, really. It's a hands-on social activity that we get to do together. And at the end of it, like today is August right now, August, I think, what, 15th, we're starting our brand new tower garden. And Mrs. Hunt came by today, talked to my kids, and they planted their seeds. And our goal is that by Thanksgiving, we get to have a Thanksgiving salad and to be thankful for the growth of life right before our eyes. And I can promise you that my kids, every year when we partake of the lettuce and the spinach, that they've grown that they'll say things like best day ever and can we do it again and there's just something about these lights that come on and go off that the kids get used to that rhythm and it becomes a part of the life in our classroom the water goes up and down and, and it's this calming um, feeling that's in the room there's life there's vitality the kids are invested in it they're curious about it so you know from my perspective I lean toward like John Dewey and I believe in a hands-on education. I believe in getting kids engaged in something that's meaningful to them. So what better way of learning how to garden than to actually do it in the classroom, to watch it, to observe it. Sometimes we keep journals and we measure it. So we bring some math into it. We write about it. We talk about it. But the best part is always eating it. So I hope you get the chance to do this. And I can just say 100%, I love doing it every year. Well, it's great to get our tower garden started. Did you like doing the seeds? Yeah. It's fun, huh? Yeah. And we're waiting two weeks for them to grow. Can't wait to have you come back.